everybody it's your boy Derek Casey coming to you live from Dallas Texas super excited to be on here man and I wanted to share a quick video with you guys to just really bring some things to light you know I'm gonna jump right into it so that way for anybody to come across this video you can go back click the replay whatever the case but I definitely want to talk to you guys um, especially the ones that are in online market. I don't care what business you're in, okay? Because the message today, I want you guys to understand that when you're in your business, okay, you're not your job is not to debate, convince, beg, or plead with your prospects to join your opportunity or buy your product or service, okay? Our job in the online world, when we get started with business, guys, is to expose, right? Expose people to an opportunity, also share some testimonies, some results, and then invite them to see some information. That's literally what we do. We expose them, we share some information with them, right? Invite them to see it for themselves, and then the rest is up to your prospect. What you need to understand is that when you're speaking to your prospects, it's their life. It's about them. It's not about you, it's not about your pockets. It's about your prospects. So we don't know what people are really going through in their lives in the moment that you're speaking with them. But our job when we expose people to the information, we share results and testimonies with them, and then we invite them to see information, what we're typically doing is we're planting a seed. Because right now what you have to understand is that when somebody says no, it doesn't mean no, never, I don't want to sign up with you ever. It just may mean not right now. Not right now. And which is cool because you don't want anybody joining your business prematurely because you convincing them trying to say the right things to get them on board. You want people to join your opportunity that are excited because when they're excited and they reach back out to you and they say that I'm ready, that means they ready to hit the ground running with you. But when you spend time convincing people, debating with them about their life, about why they need to be with your opportunity and they can make so much more money and all this stuff and you drag them into your opportunity, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have to drag them to work in your business. When they get into your opportunity, when they're not ready, then they're looking for every excuse and everything to go wrong so that they can have an excuse to leave. Okay. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to spend time or waste time dragging people into your opportunity and they get in there him and hawing. And the first time they get a couple of no's or something don't work out. Now they want to leave. You want to give people the time to come to you when they are ready, meet those people where they're at. So for myself, when I'm sharing information, I'm not going in thinking that everybody is going to sign up with me right away. They're going to see the vision and they just going to get on board. I go in because I just want to share information. Why? Because I want to make them aware that something is available for them. I've been watching them through their posts. I've been seeing things. I've spoken to them. I can hear the frustration in their voice when it comes to their financial situation. And I have something that has helped me out. So I'm sharing it with you, right? I'm going to share my results, right? I'm exposing you to what has helped me and my family. I'm going to share my results with you. And then we got calls and, and everything is virtual now. So I'm like, hey, why don't you come check this information out so you can see what it is that we do. And then they can come check it out. After that, all I'm doing is I'm following up to see what they like best, see if they got any questions, concerns, or doubts. And then from that point, the ball is in their court. The ball is in their court. They can come back to me when they're ready. I'm on to the next person so I can continue to get out here and keep, keep exposing, keep sharing, and keep inviting people to see the information about my opportunity, our services, what we offer, how we're helping people overcome financial challenges, right? That's what I want to share with them. Because the reason why I want to do that is because I know I don't want to see people going out here overspending for services with companies that overpromise and underdeliver. I want to be able to put them in front of something that I know personally works, that I know personally works. So that's the reason why I don't worry about it. Because here's the thing, guys. When you plant them seeds, okay, and you're not debating with your prospects, you're not trying to convince them, you know what I'm saying? You're not wasting time trying to beg or plead, right? When you plant those seeds, what happens is you have their attention now. You have their attention. So even though they didn't sign up with you, you have their attention. So as you're being consistent and continuing to share the information, right, exposing people to the information, you're sharing testimonies from your personal testimony to people that you've helped with the your opportunity or whatever the case, right? When you get them on and you're sharing that, it may be four months from now, it may be six months from now. 
that prospect that you talked to four months prior or six months prior may be in a better position. And it may be just that one day that you shared a testimony that resonated with them. And now they're ready to get started and they come back to you and say, you know what? That testimony that you shared is something that really hit home for me. I'm ready to get started. So you can't stop working. You can't stop exposing people. You can't wait around for the people that want to drag their feet, the tire kickers. You just got to give them the information, right? Expose them to it. Share your testimony and how it helped you out, right? Invite them to see that information on a virtual call. Or if you got any meetings that you're putting together, invite them to come in and be around people so they can hear it for themselves. They can see it for themselves. And then the ball is in their court. You go on to the next person and expose them to the information, okay? This is what you need to do in your business, but you don't need to be spending all this time just chasing after people, trying to tell them why they need the business and all of that. Everybody has a different background, different lifestyle, different things happening in their life. So give them the information, let them know what's going on, right? Invite them to see it and move on because they're going to come back to you when they're ready. So one or two things are going to happen. They're going to let the information go and decide they're not going to do anything at all. Two, they're going to continue to watch you because they want to see how consistent you are. They want to see if you continuously helping other people. They want to see the results of other people that you're sharing this with, right? So they're going to sit back and they're just going to watch for a little bit so they can build up their confidence enough to invest their money. Guys, we got to understand something. We were never really taught the rules of the wealthy or the money game, right? So when it comes to investing money and starting business and stuff, that's the last thing on a lot of on a lot of people's priority list. But as they continue to watch and they continue to see more and more people that's just like them that was going through the struggle and they took a chance and boom, now they're able to do so much more, it's going to make more sense to them as time progresses. So plant them seeds, guys. Plant them seeds. Don't sit there and debate with them, convince them, beg or plead. Just expose them to the opportunity that you're offering, right? Or the product or the service. Then you share your testimony, whether it's yours or somebody else's that you help. And then from that point, guys, invite them to see the information because it ties it all together. And then you just let them have that information, follow up with them, find out what they like best, and leave it up to your prospect to go ahead and make sure that that's a fit for them. But while you're doing that, you ain't got to sit around waiting on them to make a decision. You need to be out here sharing and continuing to invite people straight up. So I wanted to come share that message with y'all because I see a lot of entrepreneurs that get so frustrated when prospects just don't sign up with them right away. And, and, and they just like, they just stop sharing with people. They just slow down like the grind and exposing people to the information because they had one or two people that didn't like sign up or left them on red when they were trying to follow up and all of these different things. That's just part of the territory. Just keep going, keep plugging away. Because as long as you planting them seeds, months down the road, you're going to see people, you, you're going to have people hitting you up that you forgot you even talked to. Forgot you even talked to. I'm going to give you guys for an example, and then I'm going to hop off of this thing. I had a lady that's on my team now. She is phenomenal, okay? What happened was she saw me, she hit me up back in March. Back in March. She seen my videos. I'm sharing some things, you know, whatever the case. Back in March. I sent her the information, broke everything down. She she came to one of uh, the um, our virtual events, seen what was going on. Everything was cool. She still didn't sign up at that point. That's cool. I never really bothered her or anything, but she was still on my page. She was paying attention. She kept seeing the videos, kept seeing the testimonies, all these different things coming up. When the time was right, she finally seen, I think I had spoke about something in one of my videos that hit home for her in the right moment. And she literally, not even two minutes after I clicked in on my video, she hit me up and said, can I call her? And she said she was ready to get started, okay? That that was from March all the way up until probably August or whatever. That was almost like six months, six months in there, five to six months. It took her to realize that this opportunity was real. So you got to start planting them seeds, guys. Don't spend time or waste time debating, convincing, begging, or pleading your prospects. Like I said, your job is to expose them, share results, testimonies, invite them to see the information, follow up with them to see what they like best, 
and leave the ball in their court and move on. There's too many people out here that are looking for opportunities for you to be just focused on one or two people. You just got to keep exposing, keep planting those seeds. And soon enough, if you consistent and you continue to bring your excitement to share, those seeds are going to start to grow at some point. All right. So I just want to bring that message to y'all. I really hope that hit home for you. If this is some great value, hit the share button. Tag your teams in this in this video because they may need to hear this right now. They may be in that frustration mode in their business because they're not seeing the results. Let them know. Keep going. Keep exposing. Keep sharing. Keep inviting. Keep them going so that they don't stop because eventually people are going to start to come on board. But if they start slowing down because they worried about the two people that said they were going to sign up and didn't or the people that said they were going to get on a a Zoom call that didn't show up or whatever, and they stopped slowing the work, just think about all the other people that you're missing out on sharing your information with. And I can tell you this much, if you don't go get them, somebody will. So you better be on your A game. Can't sleep in this industry. You got to stay on the move and keep grinding, all right? So that being said, it's your boy Derek Casey coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. I took a bathroom break for 11 minutes so I can come shoot this video for y'all from work. That's how much I love y'all. I take little breaks in between so I can come share some information with y'all. <laughs> Don't tell my boss. All right? Don't tell my boss. But I had to come and share that message with y'all. All right? So anyways, love you guys. God bless. Hope this message really hit home. And I look forward to talking to y'all soon. Peace.